It's a rare sight these days to find Jane Geddes actually getting to enjoy herself on a practice range. That wasn't the case 20 years ago when the former national champ from Florida State was also winning major championships on the LPGA Tour, like the 1986 U.S. Women's Open. But what happens when you feel your time on tour is coming to an end and it may be time to step away? It's a decision that every player on tour has to address eventually. I just didn't want to continue on playing for the sake of playing or traveling or playing on tour for the sake of doing that because that's all I felt like I could do. You know, when you're in your early 40s and you're thinking, what am I going to do with the rest of my life? And your resume has one line and that's professional golf. <laughs> it's hard. Jane went back to school, getting a degree in criminology at USF and a law degree from Stetson, a move that would drive her towards a second career. When you get on the corporate side, um, I think in golf for me, it was a little bit different because of what my experiences have been. And so I'm unique in, in, in the golf industry and um, because of w who I am and what I've done. Jane joined the corporate side of the LPGA Tour in 2007 and was eventually promoted to a senior vice president role for tournament operations and player services, a role that would set her up for the biggest twist in her post-tour life. Shinsuke stopped in his tracks, and now here comes the WWE Champion. How in the world does an accomplished golfer and all the stuff that you've done go from a golf course into the world of the WWE? <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it was, and it was, it was an amazing experience for me because I went into a world I wasn't even a fan. My first week there, I, I, did a, I had a Wikipedia list of wrestling terms like stuck to my wall. It'd be like going into a meeting, a golf meeting, and not knowing one golf term and people talking about pars and birdies and fairways and clubhouses and pro shops and driving ranges and you would have no idea, right? So you'd have to come back and say, what in the world were they talking about? Well, that was me in wrestling. In 2011, Jane left the LPGA and accepted an almost identical role with the WWE. My role at WWE was to oversee the wrestlers and their life and what they, what everything encompassed that, which by the way, they are a traveling show, right? Well, guess what? The LTJ tour and the players and everything that I oversaw there, which was mostly everything to do with the players, was a traveling show. And the first induction into that traveling show was something she'll never forget. I was looking through a curtain and there are two of the biggest guys in the company standing on the top of the ropes. One of them was, his name is Big Show, he's like, he was probably 350 pounds, 7'2", and another one, Mark Henry, who was the strongest man in the world. All of a sudden, they come backwards and they fall, and the ring collapses. You gotta be kidding me! And I, not knowing that that was supposed to happen, I'm like, oh my God. So I am, and the people around me who were some of the wrestlers that were kind of standing, they just start laughing at me, you know, like a look at the dumb rookie, right? Jane stayed with the WWE for four years. She went back to the golf world in 2017 as the executive director of the LPGA's Amateur Golf Association, connecting women with the game she loves. It's about kind of getting in there, having women feel comfortable about being around the game and just play. Play for fun. Inaugural Augusta National Women's Amateur. This past April, it was a big step for the women's game of golf when the first Augusta National Women's Amateur was held. It was quite a moment for golf. Watching um, the girls compete, my selfish LPGA side, and I know from the LPGA, from just my player side, says, dang, I wish it could have been, I wish it could have been us. But you know what? It will be someday. Do you consider yourself a pioneer? A pioneer in a way that I hope I, I set examples for other women that, you know, when I talk about the resume and feeling as though you only have that one line, you know, I only had that and, and I felt that way. And I, I think I proved that, you know, if there's a will, there's a way.